who doesn't love an hot bad boy in a drama they are usually so charming and handsome and sometimes these bad boys can give up total anti-hero vibes but irresistible for viewers of an entertaining drama here are 15 thai dramas that have the bad boys who shamelessly stole our hearts Number 1 Tor in Hua Jai Silla Tor is the son of a rich businessman and a mistress. After his mother dies from neglect, Tor is forced to live with his father's family. Abused by his stepmother and stepbrother, he turns to the girl next door, Mingta, who also suffers neglect at the hands of her so-called mother and sister. One night, while being chased by his stepmother, Tor jumps into a river and is presumed dead, though he survives. He is taken under the wing of another prostitute who knew his mother and takes on a new life under the alias Silla. Years later, he returns as a notorious rich pimp with plans to avenge his mother and to get revenge for the torture and pain brought to him by his stepmother and stepbrother. It's a very fast-paced story and each episode makes you cow for another episode. The main lead, Thanapop, is mind-blowing. His character not only demanded intense emotions and acting skills, but also charisma and an overall majestic aura. While the storyline itself is not so unique or complex as it is a typical revenge plot drama, the chemistry and acting between the characters make it really great. The drama is definitely worth your time. Just dive in and enjoy. Number 2. Mark Prin in Cluing Chiwit Jirawat is a cheerful, hard-working woman who is a famous model and an actress. Her mother married a smarmy but rich man who secretly lusts after his stepdaughter. After he attempts to drug Jirawat, she manages to escape by driving away. Unfortunately, due to forcefully drugged, she hits a young woman on the road who later dies at the hospital. The dead young woman has a fiancé, Satit, who happens to be a lawyer. He vows revenge on the female driver who killed his beloved fiancé. Unfortunately, Jirawat's stepfather and mother use their influence and money to hide and hush all evidence. Satit decides to stalk and bother to find the evidence that she is an evil and manipulative temptress. But in the end, he finds out she is actually a good and a kind person despite her lowly beginnings and gradually falls in love with her. The story is a revenge drama that turns to love and this drama is the best portrayal of that I have seen till today. Intense storyline with great acting cast, especially leads who are just great together. One of the best chemistry between leads I've ever seen so far and they convey their emotions so well. Mark and Yaya are really good, brilliant chemistry, they just make it so real and I can feel the emotion right away. Number 3. Bright in F4 Thailand Boys Over Flowers Gorya is a low-class girl accepted into a prestigious university attended by the wealthy. The school is ruled by an elite cliche known as the F4, consisting of four rich, handsome and spoiled boys. Gorya is the only one that stands up to their bullying ways, leaving all the boys in awe, especially Thine, the group's leader. Almost instantly smitten by Gorya, Thine romantically pursues her, but she has no interest in him because of first impression. She then falls for his best friend Ren, but Ren is in love with his childhood love. In all the chaos of school, Korea can't help but find herself falling for time because of his generosity to her and her family and his change of character. This series is much different from all the other versions. You will feel that you are watching a whole new series even though it's a remake. It talks and takes bullying and other problems more seriously. The actors seem to be cast perfectly for their roles. Bright, played by Thyme, is scary and Ren is gentle but reserved. Actress Gorya is incredibly talented and can portray her character well. Do give this drama a try. Number 4. Mick in Kan La Krang Nguyen Nai Hua Jai Fasa is heartbroken after her ex-boyfriend cheated on her. Yet, he still has the nerve to ask her to take him back. So to avoid him, Fasa's friend took her on a trip to Japan. 
while she was there. Fa Sai was held at gunpoint by a Hong Kong mafia named Daniel Wong. The man was shot and needed a place to stay that night, so he ordered Fa Sai to take him to a hotel room. And that's how the story began. The story of the mafia part was quite decent. It was a good mixture of romance and action. The male lead mix is adorable. If you're looking for a light melodrama with a lot of romance, I would strongly recommend this one. Number 5, Nadej in Game Rai Game Rap. Saichon is an islander living on Min Island. One day, destiny leads him to find Falada, a 17-year-old girl lying unconscious on the beach. When she wakes up, he realizes that she lost all her memories. Saichon takes care of her and names her Nang Fa. They fall in love with each other and live together. One day, Champu Pre, Falada's sister, saw her sister's picture in the tourist magazine, so she sends people to take Falada back. Saichon is very sorry and has to take care of his baby alone on the island. Falada gets treatment until she regains her memories, but she loses her memories about Saichon, her baby, and everything during the time that she is missing. Champu Pre lies to her sister and doesn't tell her anything about Min Island. When Saichon awakens, he is devastated to learn that his Nang Fa is gone. He decides to go to Bangkok to look for her, only to find that Falata doesn't remember him at all. Nadej and Yaya work so well together. It has got all the drama cliches, but it's worth to watch. This Lakon has the same creators as Kluwen Chivit and Sawan Biang. So I greatly recommend it if you are a fan of slap kiss romance drama. Number 6. Make Jira Kit in Ugly Duckling series, Don't. After confessing her love to her crush at an elementary school, Meo Nam is literally crushed when the boy rejects her in front of all his friends. He calls her ugly and it's at that moment that she decides to wear a box on her head. Meo Nam is really damaged by those events and she hides behind the box, truly believing that she's ugly. Forced to return to school, Meo Nam meets Minton and Zero. Minton is sweet, friendly and new to the school, while Zero is a notorious troublemaker who uses his fists to solve the problems. The question is, who's the boy that called her ugly all of those years ago? Is it Minton? Is it Zero? Or is it another person? The story is pretty unique. The female lead phobia is reasonable and realistic. There were no plot holes probably because it was a short and a neat project. The overall story is great with an unexpected plot twist. Number 7. Joss in Nabi My Step Darling After her sister and former manager Serene disappeared mysteriously, Nabi takes it upon herself to investigate by becoming the beautiful manager of Dubai Club. The club belongs to Pichet Chai, a man whom Nabi respects as someone she is indebted to. Pichet Chai is a married man. He and his wife Rari have a son Kaveen. Kaveen, who is studying abroad, returns to Thailand to investigate his mother's death. Kaveen misunderstands Nabi's intentions with his father and thinks she wants to become his stepmother. Will these misunderstandings resolve? How will their complicated relationship end? In love or in pain? Number 8. Push Putti Chai in Hugh Prince the Handsome Cowboy Siptit is a bad boy, a charming cowboy from the Faculty of Agriculture. He is Prikang's first love and she is his. But she has become a down-to-earth girl who dislikes narcissists and arrogant people. Like Sibith who treats women like toys to be seduced and then left. When they meet again, they start off on the wrong foot. He takes her cold demeanor as a challenge and tries to win her over. But can old habits be changed? Does this playboy even have the emotional depth to truly love? Number 9. Ken in ra Raing Fire Yada's father frames Chakrit's father for murder and has him arrested. Years later, Chakrit wants revenge on Yada's family. He starts by seducing Yada's sister, then abandoning her on their wedding day, embarrassing her and the family in front of the guests. Yada is very angry at the man who hurt her family and wants revenge. Yada and Chakrit fight each other on their family's behalf, both of them seeing through the other person's tricks. Number 10. Where in Morasum Sawat Sayam Pu is a CEO who comes from a gangster background but wants to turn away from his past and rebuild his life. He meets and falls in love with Kwang, an innocent student, but they are separated due to misunderstandings. Number 11. Kit Kong in Prom Pesawat 
This is the story of God bringing two unlikely people from different parts of the world together. Lapol, a half Korean half Thai man who grew up in Korea his life but chose to escape to Thailand, sees his new stepmother as just another gold digger after his dad's wealth. He pretty much thinks that of all women because his mother disappeared from his life since divorcing his dad when he was young. With hatred for his stepmother, Plapol decided to go to Thailand to find his mother. Number 12, Tum Tan in Sud Sai Pan. Titit meets Gandao Mani in Frajoid and falls in love with her. Unbeknownst to Tit, Gandao Mani is using her elder twin sister's name Gandawasi for herself. Therefore, tricking him into thinking her real name is Gandawasi. She later leaves him when she grows tired of him and finds out that he is the poor son of a merchant. Tit is heartbroken and tries searching for her unsuccessfully. Number 13, My Warith in Rakrai. Win and Lek are best friends. Lek is in love with Win, but Win is dating Lek's older sister. When Lek leaves to go study overseas, she promises that Win will be the first person to see her degree when she comes back. While Lek is away, tragedy falls and Win's parents pass away. Win is also in a car accident. All this happens without Lek knowing. So when Lek comes back looking for Win, only to hear that the entire Wang Surang family has passed on, she is devastated. But Win is actually still alive and has been living in hiding for three years. All he wants is revenge for the wrongs done to him and his family, wrongs that have been instigated by Lek's own family. Will Win forgive past wrongs or will he use Lek as a tool in his plan of vengeance? Number 14, New in Talai Prey. Tad is a beautiful and humble girl. After finishing her studies, she receives a marriage proposal from her mother's family rich friend. But soon it becomes clear that the behavior of her future husband is of great concern. The creeping doubt was quickly dispelled and the wedding took place. Only after the wedding she realizes that nothing changed for her husband and she is doomed to loneliness, neglect and scandals. Will Tad find the strength to break his burdensome relationship or will she accept this fate? Number 15, Film Thanapat in Payu Sai. Narees, the secondary heir of Punara Golf Club, must return to Thailand urgently because his half brother Narin has vanished. He meets Sai, his brother's personal assistant, who is his unforgettable first love. Together, they embark on the journey to solve his brother's disappearance. Which of these bad boys is your favorite? Please let us know in comments down below. Also, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.